In this video, we'll be discussing about the docking process and its analysis using Clip tool and visualization using Discovery Studio. If you're watching this video for the first time, please check the description for the previous videos to have a complete understanding about the process. Let's begin the docking using the script type Perl space Vina underscore Linux dot PL. All these scripts are mentioned in the description. This should be saved in the same directory of the ligands and protein receptor. So once you click enter, it will ask for the ligand file name. Now type ligand.txt and enter. Now the protein ligand docking starts. You can see the live status of docking as the percentage and it will generate the affinity scores in both terminal as well as the individual files in the directory along with the output file with ligand coordinates after docking. As we have 51 compounds, it may take some time to finish the docking process. Now the process done. Here you can see log files of individual dock complexes with the top 9 possible docking modes. As we have results in individual files, we need to combine all these log files for comparing the compound with higher docking affinity. Let's see how we can combine all these results. Type tail space hyphen n11 space star dot log space greater symbol space results dot txt and press enter this code is nothing but copying and compiling the last 10 to 11 lines from every log files into a text file called results dot txt now you can see the results dot txt file has been generated with all the results with the header as the file name from this, we'll be choosing only the coordinates of first result, that is with 0 RMSD. Let's see how it can be done. Open the text file in Excel, select the first column and click on the data, then text to columns. Mark delimiters and click next. Mark both tab and space for separating the results to multiple rows based on these delimiters. Click on finish. Now you can see the results split into multiple columns. Delete the first column which is not required. Turn on the filter and remove the blank which is in the end. Now move the title towards the number 1. Now all top results has the heading. And now click on the filter again just above 0 and then choose 0 for filtering all results with 0 RMSD. Lower the value of RMSD you get, the higher the accuracy of docking. Now copy the complete results and paste to the next sheet. You can delete the term .pdbqt-log.log by pressing Ctrl F and then clicking on the replace all. Now you can see the compounds IDs as a list with their respective docking affinity. Let's sort the highest docking affinity now. More the negative is higher the affinity. The drug development involves assessment of absorption, distribution, metabolism and excretion. Here we'll use a tool with free access to predict models of physiochemical properties, pharmacokinetics, drug likeness and medicinal chemistry friendliness. This Swiss Admi tool can be used by any specialist and non-experts in cheminformatics or computational chemistry who can predict rapidly all the key parameters for a collection of molecules to support their drug discovery endeavors. Now visit swissadme.ch to use this tool. Here, to search the properties of compounds, we need to put smiles as a query. How to convert this PubChem compound ID to smiles? We can use PubChem ID Exchanger for this process. Go to PubChem Identifier Exchange website, and all links are mentioned in the description for easy access. I already copied all the IDs from the Excel. Paste the compound ID under the input ID list. Change the output ID to smiles. Change it to no compression and click submit job. The results are generated. Now you can click on the link to retrieve the results. Copy the smiles and paste to the Excel. Change the color to black if you are not able to see it. Now go to the data and split the text to two. That is compound ID and smiles. Try matching with the results we got from the ID exchanger and the compounds. You can see both are same. I'm giving the title as miles and I'm deleting the previous IDs as it is duplicate of the compound ID in the first column. Now let's make the Swiss Admi query list. Type equal to then click on the smiles and type and symbol quotation space quotation and symbol and then click on the compound id then press enter double click on the plus button at the corner of the cell to get the entire results in the same column 
Now copy the Swiss admin query and paste it here and run. Within a few minutes, you can retrieve the results. This overall result is depicted as boiled egg here, which directly predicts the passive diffusion through the intestinal absorption to blood brain barrier, permeation, which are the main admin behavior impacting pharmacokinetics. The points located in the white ellipse represents compounds with high probability to be passively absorbed by the gastrointestinal tract. The points in the yellow ellipse, that is the yolk, are for the compounds with high probability to permeate through the blood-brain barrier to access the CNS. However, the white and yolk are not mutually exclusive, so all these molecules not predicted to be well absorbed nor blood-brain barrier permeate are in the grey zone. Coming to the visualization tool, I use Discovery Studio which is freely available. Go to the main directory and open the receptor first and then define the receptor. Then drag the output which you want to explore. For example, I'm opening this output along with the receptor. Now you can see both in the same image. Now select the first result which is the one with higher affinity score. The rest you can delete by clicking it and pressing delete button. Now click on the ligand interactions to see the interactions between protein and the compound. Now go to the interactions options and untick intramolecular interaction to see specific bond between both ligand and protein. You can also view the interaction in 2D by clicking show 2D diagram. Now you can save this image in your directory for the publication purpose. You can choose which size you want to save it. Now the image is saved. Similarly, you can view the ligand protein in 3D following this. If needed, you can optimize graphical interface and go to the scripts, visualization and the publication quality. Then visualization of protein can be done by clicking on the receptor or selectively visualize the surface like aromatic or hydrogen bonds etc. Now you can save this also as an image for your paperwork. Another way to see all this interaction is using an online tool called Plip. It is a web server that provides an easy to use interface which takes an input either a PDB ID or the custom structure in PDB format. Moreover, the advanced options in the input section allows the user to modify the default settings of PLIP according to their special requirements such as adjustment to thresholds for the detection of interactions, consideration of modified residues, specification of which model to use in multimodal structures, the detection of intra and interchain interactions and the treatment of nucleic acids. Now you need a PDB complex to be made for the analysis. So now go to the directory and open your receptor structure in PDBQT. Then open the docked output file which you want to make complex of structure. Copy the model 1 which had the higher affinity in the docking from root to end MDL. Now paste it in the end of the receptor and save it as a separate file named as complex. Let's open it in PyMol and see how does it look. Now we need to convert this PDBQT complex to PDB for PLIP analysis. We can use a software called OpenBabel for this conversion. Select the input and open the PDBQT file which you want to convert. Now we need to select the output file as PDB and then name it as complex.pdb and click on save. Now click on convert. Now switch back to the browser and go to the blip website. Click on the choose file and open the complex in PDB. Then click on analyze. It takes a few seconds to analyze and get the results. As you can see, this is the docked image with the list of interactions. Plip also gives the detailed hydrophobic interactions and hydrogen bonds in the result section. You can download the visualization as image or bimol format. I hope now you have studied the whole procedure of talking. Next, we will be coming up with NMT simulation using NAMT and analysis using VMT in the upcoming videos. Do subscribe and press bell button if you like the video and to get notified about the upcoming series of videos. Thank you.